filmed in Mexico during a mass, a mysterious screaming lament was heard mid-mass. Listen closely. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San The priest hesitates shortly as the voice calls out, while the altar boys look very concerned. It's not clear if the shout is coming from a congregant or outside the church. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. It's also unclear what the man is saying. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Well, some are theorizing that this voice was straight from Satan, and others think there's an entity afoot. I think it's more logical that the shout came from right outside the church, but I have no clue why or what it means. Do you have any theories? These residents captured an actual witch on camera hovering right in their driveway, shared by YouTuber Madison ENT. The footage was taken at around 3 in the morning. Watch closely above the vehicle. Baby. Baby, come on, see. Baby, baby. The mysterious being drifts for a moment, and all you can see is its glowing eyes and wild hair, and then it does this. Whether this was a witch or not, I think it was important to run away. My advice to this YouTuber would be to put as much space between you and this thing as possible. If you hate when people tell you to smile, maybe you should adopt this lady's grin. Whoever asked you won't ask again. Shared by YouTube channel EXTV and originally posted by TikToker Dinor Dub. This video is currently trending in the Brazilian YouTube community. The clip shows fans going wild in a stadium. Every fan but this one. The creepy smile, the mad eyes, the stillness. There's something truly chilling about this video. Even when you close your eyes, she won't stop grinning. Don't worry, the disturbance is intentional. It's actually part of a marketing stunt for the 2022 film Smile. News sources say actors appeared in sports stadiums smiling manically to promote the film. So did it work? The film premiered with $22 million in ticket sales the first weekend, so I'd say it has something to smile about. Have you ever met an angry shadow? You're about to. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Sensitive Chart 6221 This scary video was captured in Amarillo, Texas, as the Redditor and his friends were exploring. The footage shows the group walking down the hallway of an abandoned hospital. Watch the doorway at the end of the hall. You can see a dark figure around the corner. It moves out of view as they pass, but it's not clear if that's because the cameraman is veering left or the figure physically hides itself. The right side door also seems to fall closed. A moment later, you hear a strange groan or growl. <laughs> Some in the comments think it sounds like an animal. Others think that the dark figure is just the shadow of the dude in the white shirt. Or could the shadow figure be growling at these intruders? I'm gonna go with that as my guess. This mysterious interaction was captured by Instagrammer and streamer, Three Wheeler, and published by YouTube channel Singapore Incidents. 
I mean, maybe they're not supposed to be picnicking at night in the middle of a public walkway, but I don't think she's supposed to be wearing a skincare mask in public either. She then proceeds to tell them to turn their camera off. Switch off that thing. Huh? Switch off that thing before I call the police. I'll do one thing. I'm talk chatting with my friend. Switch off the camera before I call the police. It's okay. Just call the police. While this streamer tries to politely dismiss her, she seriously escalates. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a nice day. <laughs> huh? You want to kick me? I thought you want to call police and kick me. Huh? What are you trying to do? After threatening him, she gets more aggressive. That seems to me like a severe overreaction to the situation. This couple does not seem to be disturbing anyone. In fact, the street is pretty much empty. Above and beyond this woman's reaction to the couple's picnic by kicking over their food, the biggest mystery of the entire incident is the skincare mask. Why? Why is she wearing it? Switch off that thing. Huh? Switch off that thing before I call the police. I do one thing. I'm talk chatting with my friend. Switch off the camera before I call the police. It's okay, you just call the police. While communicating with lost souls in the witch's mirror, YouTube team Toppy's session gets dark. Nastia explains where the mirror comes from. And she begins the ritual. It sounds like something wants out of the mirror. And a shadow falls on the wall beside Nastia. The whole team comes and through a spirit box they ask if someone is there. After communicating with the spirits for a time, they leave a still camera in front of the mirror and this is what they capture. What is this strange dark haze? Is it the spirit? I think it is. If I had to guess, I'd say this witch's mirror is a portal to the afterlife, one that shouldn't be tampered with. When you experience regular poltergeist activity in your home, monitoring it becomes top priority. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard shares this VR 360 video from a GoPro Max of his home's demonic activity. You can hear faint knocks or footsteps repeatedly. More unexplained sounds unfold. Not long after, there's a major smashing noise, followed by REM pod activity. You can also hear faint voices at this point, maybe from a TV turning on. Not long after, this happens. And again, it sounds like the TV has been turned on or someone is speaking. The voice comes and goes throughout the remainder of the clip, but turning 360, you can't see anything on. And lastly, the spirits play a short tune. 
This video is particularly unsettling to me because you can see all four corners of the room at any time, so you know nobody is pulling the strings. I'm convinced that Donnie's house is haunted, and considering the noises, the demon doesn't sound friendly. This poltergeist is about to throw down. Redditor What I Imagine shares this video of a very aggressive ghost. Due to the poltergeist's aggression, I'm convinced that this isn't staged. How can anything but the paranormal act unseen with such aggression? Many in the comments think this video was staged with fishing line. Hmm, I don't know though. It looks pretty compelling to me. Did this news clip just capture a real life teleportation in action? Redditor Cat Daddy shared this clip that was captured on the news. Watch the background closely. <laughs> Did you see it? The dude just blipped in out of nowhere. It truly looks like a portal just opened in the air and he walked through it. Nothing is altered in the foreground or background to make me suspect that this clip was altered, but there are varied opinions in the comments. I agree with Joe Films. A morph transition can make it appear as though the speaker hasn't stopped talking, but elements in the background become distorted. In fact, Redditor Julian shares one of those elements. They didn't smooth out the reflections in the glass. Seen here. Although I think this mystery has been solved, I kind of wish it hadn't been. Someone is watching you. Published by Paranormal Voyages in January of 2022. This paranormal crew is not just paranoid, as they're tuning into the spirits and or demons of this place. One of the crew sees something pop up outside through the window. There's something outside. Here. Here. Later, as she's wearing headphones to listen in to what the spirits have to say, she feels someone, and then that someone speaks. Who are you? What are you? Whoa! Move her chair, it said, in a deep man's voice. Well, so you move the chair. After the demon says to touch her and make her cry, the crew urges the demon to leave. Make her cry, he said. No, you cannot no, make her cry. You're gonna have to leave. You can't do anything negative. The woman looks very shaken up, and she says she felt weird vibes. Are these the vibes of a demon? More than likely. You'll always remember your first encounter with a skinwalker, because it may just be your last. YouTuber Hype Mike published his encounter at Skinwalker Ranch. While they set up their cameras, you can already see something's not right. Look behind them. Later, as they're gathered around the barn, they hear a noise coming from above. Light, right? As they wander downstairs, they hear this. What? What is that? When they make it outside later, the flies warn them something evil is coming. Dude, it's... Oh, I'm not going closer. Yeah, it's disgusting. Something was... Oh, <laughs> oh stop! Like disemboweled or something here. While checking their cameras later, they find one was messed with. There's nothing... The wall, it's like a corner. I put it in the corner. And the tripod's like as far back as it can go. Nothing can... Dude, what is that? Look what at the camera, it? it's moving! 
Bro, what there is going in the on? window? There was literally something in the window. Was that a skinwalker? They're about to find out. What the Is that the door? The back door. Was that here? Hold on. Wait, 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 just, 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 wait, let me, let me just take a look, okay? Well, I'm not 100% sure that it was a skinwalker. It does look to me like something is stalking them, and it may not be human. This crab fisherman caught more than he bargained for. Published by Casey Spotlight. Believe it or not, this is a real thing that's swimming in the waters of our oceans. Known as a wolf eel, this super creepy species dwells in the North Pacific. With a tail that stretches some eight feet, wolf eels often wrap themselves up into caves, launching out with their wolfish heads to snatch prey, usually shellfish, urchins, and crabs. With crabs crawling in the cage alongside him, this particular wolf eel appears to be mid-meal, as there's something large in its mouth. The fishermen pull the object out of the eel's mouth. What do you think of this creepy creature? My advice? Steer clear of taking an icy dip in the North Atlantic. What do you see here? Posted to the Paranormal Video subreddit, Redditor Upstairs Bicycle 1721 wants some sort of explanation for this mysterious clip. Let's take a look. The mysterious vertical rods hover side by side in front of the camera for a moment before one of them takes off and disappears out of sight. The second figure slowly drifts right until it's out of frame. Nearly everyone in the comments is perplexed by this video. Although I don't think this is a spider web either, I don't have any rational ideas as to what they could be. Do you have an explanation? What is this thing drifting in the sky over Poland? This mysterious video was posted in a private Polish Facebook group and shared to the UFO subreddit by Redditor Revolutionary Kale 46. Let's watch. It floats undisturbed over the field, even peaceful in its descent. Unfortunately, the clip ends there, and we don't see if or where it lands. Some Redditors think it's a Mondo Shawin ship looking after the elements. That actually looks pretty spot on to me. It's got my vote. There is a powerful figure on this roof, and it's united the villagers in rebellion. Posted on TikTok by Toddy Catalina, this scary video shows a large, dark figure dominating this rooftop. Anyone who dares near it seems to be blown back, either by her power or from fear. Watch. <laughs> All those who try to reach the roof fail, and the figure doesn't seem to be bothered by them. They're even throwing things at the figure, but with one great pop, she disappears. Is this dark magic in the round? I'm not sure if this was a witch or some other mysterious creature, but I am sure she's managed to traumatize these villagers for life. Imagine what it might be like to sail on the open sea. Nothing but water all around you. 
Now imagine that same water at night posted to the oddly terrifying subreddit. This clip was originally posted on TikTok by Oily White Hat who works on an oil rig. The short clip shows the black inky darkness that surrounds the rig at night. It's pitch black all around. You can't see past the handrails. Redditor TimboFlex writes in the comments, Yeah, I've been on a ship in the middle of the Pacific at night with only red lights. The stars and the colors above you are amazing, and below you is just a noisy void of inky blackness. It's like you're floating in space near the event horizon of a black hole looking away. Would you be able to stand it out here on the edge of the event horizon? As amazing as it sounds, I think I'm gonna stay on land. Do you believe in demonic possession? This scary video might convert you. This video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community and shows an apparent possession unfolding before our very eyes. A young man is kneeling on the floor, his eyes rolled into the back of his head. The growling sounds coming from deep within him sound demonic. A couple of men stand above him, apparently trying to exercise the demon out of him, while others are gathered around. One of the men places his hand on the possessed man's forehead. That's where the video ends. Viewers are left to wonder if this man was freed of the demon within, or if he simply continues to live with this evil plaguing him. But I sincerely hope that's not the case. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard has been battling a poltergeist in his home for years now. This is one of his strongest pieces of evidence. As he's attempting to communicate with the poltergeist, he feels something touch him. Kick, kick. I had, I let something touch me. Later, using a Kinect, he sees an entity dancing around his bathroom. The entity slams his toilet seat down. Holy Watch closely and you'll see the lid fall. Is this poltergeist good or evil? What does he want from Donnie? I think I know. He wants a bit of privacy. This creepy randonautica led YouTuber Jasko Vlogs to Devil's Forest, and he was met with this mysterious call of the wild. Oh, wow. Trying to see if there's any. Bro? What was that? I don't know what that was, but it sounded afraid. They then find this bizarre shelter. Alright. Looks like someone built some type of shelter here or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just... What is it for? Jasko is right that it's not natural. Shortly after, they feel like they're being followed. Walking towards us right now. Um, I don't know if it's that same person, but let's get out of here. While I'm uncertain if they are or not, I do think it's smart to put some distance between them and that mysterious shelter. These guys were wandering through the forest when they encountered someone who at first appeared lost, but after a moment they realized something was very wrong. Hello, mate. Whoa, 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 what have you got an axe? After this strange encounter, the boys follow the crazy man's rubbish to its hiding place. Be cautious, Luke. The roof looks like it's about to collapse. That's not rubbish, bro. When they realize it's a person, and a living person at that, they start to unravel the bag and the mystery. He's alive, bro. He's alive. He's alive. Where's he gone? Is he gone? What? Did he take you? What was this axe man going to do with this boy? What is that? There was something there. 
There was someone what is that? He's back, bro. He's back. After this most recent encounter, we could probably guess while exploring the Royal Arcade in Keithley in the UK, the YouTube team Staffordshire Paranormal Explorers encounters an abundance of paranormal activity as they communicate with the spirits they hear what sounds like a door moving. We heard a dragging noise in here before, or possible footstep shuffling. What was that? They hear unexplained taps and knocks. Got two knocks? Yeah. yeah. It was like, dun, dun. As they continue throughout the place, a disembodied whistle or whisper is heard. Okay, spirits. We know, we know you're here with us now. And not long after, two thuds are heard. Did you hear that? Yeah. Later, a distinct whistle sounds. Heard a whistle, man. In my opinion, this place is creepy enough without all the whispers and whistles, but the paranormal activity really puts it over the edge. This is some serious EMF gone wrong. Published by Dark Life in March of 2022, Dennis held an EMF session in the basement of this old house in which girls are said to have gone missing. After spending some time in the basement, he hears something in the wardrobe. As he reaches toward it, the wardrobe starts to rock aggressively. Dennis runs from it, and in doing so appears to hurt his leg amongst all the rubbish in the basement. He looks back for a moment but decides it's best to leave the house. And after seeing this shell of a haunted home, wouldn't you? Redditor Pipboy1050 captured this on his security camera at work, and it may make you want to call in sick. While well, some think it's a ghost, the way it hovers looks almost mechanical to me. The Redditor writes that it went on for longer, and he could see the entire figure from top to bottom, and then saw it leave. In some traditions, souls are said to stay on Earth for 40 days after their passing. It definitely looks like a Pokong to me, but it could also just be a bug on the lens. Which side are you on? It's 3am, and something is terrifying YouTuber Mo Sarji at this haunted cabin in the woods. Let's see what it is. Mo seems to be sensing a spirit around them. Is it weird that my ears, my left ear is ringing like crazy right now? Well, they say that's a sign of spirit around you. Then they see a light in a nearby building. It shouldn't be on. There you go. You can see that the light in the mill is on right now. That should be off. Holy sh**. There's something causing it to stay on. A moment later, this happens. Let's just... Oh, oh, oh. I just seen it. Dude. Dude. I got it on camera, did you? Yeah. It's motion activated, so something must be inside. They arrive at this creepy haunted cabin, isolated in the middle of the woods. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, nice. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. So. Whoa, it's even creepier at nighttime. As soon as they're near it, they get a reading on their K2. Whoa. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, we got something here. Let's go inside and check this out. Once inside, they discover something horrifying. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking the shack itself isn't what's haunted. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking someone who ever nailed the roof in here, or the wood, did some type of black magic. Like, put a tap of nail in here. Is Mo's theory correct? Is this a dark magic shack? From the outside, looking in, it appears so... Oh, I hear it now. Oh, wait, it's back. Yeah, right. No, on, on the other side. Jesus. Yeah, there's big bugs out here. <laughs> there's so it, many. It's gone now. 
Now it's mapping out Angelo. When the team asks the spirit if it's there, it responds via REM pod. Sean, is that you? I'm feeling very fatigued all of a sudden. Mm. That went to green. It's amazing how this is responding to the comments you guys are making. Yeah. Yeah, because you were like, John, is that you? And it, again. Sean is here. I do believe the team is being followed by something. But is it Sean? It could be anyone. Who's there? Redditor Sal26 Serrano says remodeling was being done in this vacant apartment complex of four, and the owner of the property was downstairs with him at the time. So who is making this noise? Did you hear it? There's definitely someone there, but whether they're supposed to be there or not is the next question. My guess would be this place has squatters. Redditor Go Bartlett went apartment viewing, and what they spotted in the footage later gave them pause. Watch the walkthrough and see if you can spot it. Did you see it? Keep your eye on the far corner of the room, next to the window. It looks like a tentacle reaches out from the corner of the wall before disappearing a moment later. The Redditors in the comments had some thoughts. While the comments on this one are the usual mixed bag, I personally like to think something Stranger Things-esque is living in the walls here. I too would skip this one. YouTubers Casadores de Sombras investigate the spirit of the old Macubero in this scary video. While exploring the spirit's lair, they are startled by an unexplained sound. Oh, oh! Yeah. As they're investigating the matter, another noise is heard in the next room. But again, nothing. They then do some type of ritual involving dropping a chain in a well, presumably to call up the spirit, and the ritual is successful. Shortly after, the spirit shows itself. Is this the old Macubero? Whatever this spirit is, I'm pretty sure it's not friendly. This clip was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit and was originally uploaded to YouTube by Hunting the Unknown. As the team investigates the haunted insane asylum, they hear something. They can give us a sign. While they indicate it's a knock, it sounds like a loud grunt to me. Later, as they continue walking, footsteps are heard beside them, or nearby that seem out of place with their own. Next, they hear something off screen. As they continue on, one viewer claims to see a figure in the window at this point. Look up and to the right. Listen, I'm telling you some more investigation. 
While I do see the shadow, I think it's just the wall jutting out, although it does look a bit like a figure. I think this shadow can be explained, but the subtle footsteps and other noises are harder to pinpoint. This place definitely gives me the creeps. What are the jinns trying to hide? YouTube team Paranormal Mai confronts the lie of the jinn in this scary video. After walking through this empty bear home, he returns to this room where he finds a strange setup. <laughs> Did a djinn just enter this home? If so, where is it? I wouldn't look over your shoulder if I were you. A woman is practicing a presentation while her friend films, but they both become distracted by the poltergeist in the room. TikToker Real Scary Video shares this footage. One, two, three, go. One, okay, now. now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verify the client's. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure. First, the light flickers. Verify the client's identity and provide. Then something disturbs the closet. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. Well, we can't see what made the noise. I'm pretty sure whatever it was lost its patience. Talk about a non supportive ghost. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, uh, now that I have introduced myself to the patient. The historic Jefferson has plenty of haunting footage. This clip is one of the most chilling, captured by a guest staying in the doll room. The footage shows one of the room's many dolls coming to life. First, watch behind the pillow. It just peers out like that for about a minute. That movement, though. Something peers out. It's one of the dolls. A moment later, the doll falls over. Um. This is the doll in question. The staff shares its creepy history. It does have history to it. Um, typically, we'll put the doll here just to make it look kind of creepy, but we've had several guests say that the doll's not there. We'll come and look, and the doll will be behind the chair. One time, that was. The doll is creepy just looking at it, but this footage on top of its history of innate creepiness ensures that I can't handle staying in the doll room. This most haunted hospital in Guadalajara carries an evil energy, and this crew is there to investigate it. When they turn down a dark hallway, they appear to see some movement. Things intensify as they start to hear noises in the hospital. Oi. Okay, aquí es donde está más tenso. They walk down the hallway and come across a creepy surgical room. Mira esto. They feel a presence in the chapel. Then they hear something unexpected. Is that Cujo? They seem to hear something in this room.
que lo asocia a la energía del cabello. Later, they walk down the hallway into a room where many people say they feel anguish. The woman also explains why they light candles to spirits instead of offering up their own energy. Yo siempre ofrezco mi energía, la verdad. Eso no es bueno, ¿qué me puedes decir eso? No, una, pues les estás diciendo que pueden tomar toda tu energía. Well, I didn't see anything terrifying on this hospital tour. I do feel the energy being sucked out of me just watching this. Do you feel the same? Next time you're in India, cruising in the UP, you might want to avoid driving in the rain. This couple was nearly consumed by an unseen pit or manhole. Thankfully, bypassers came to their aid. After the couple was pulled to safety, I'm sure there wasn't much that could be done to save the scooter. The husband was a cop and both did not walk away from the incident unscathed. I think this serves as an example to exercise extreme caution when driving through any body of water. Will this couple live happily ever after? Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video was originally posted on TikTok. The mysterious video of what appears to be a wedding party is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. A pair of newlyweds sit together with a forlorn look on their faces, while an officiant reads through some documents or scripture with the wedding party gathered round. We can assume all is normal, but a moment later something unsettling happens. Watch the bride-to-be. <laughs> what came over her? Her eyes grow wide as though she suddenly become possessed by something. She then follows an unknown object above before having a strange fit and appearing to silently scream in pain. Did a mysterious force from above possess her? Or did that force simply strike in that moment and cause her agonizing pain? It's hard for me to tell here what may have happened without further context or an extended video, but if I had to guess, I'd say something possessed her. It's all in the eyes. Have you ever received a call from the beyond? TikToker Epic Paranormal posted this video, explaining that their mom received a phone call from her uncle. The only problem is, he's passed away. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that entire clip gave me chills. Many in the comments have similar stories, having received calls from their departed loved ones. Others have a feeling of dread after watching this clip. I can't blame them. <laughs> If I got a voicemail like this, I would be terrified. This one is a head-scratcher. Redditor Nikki Nabs explains that her dad was in a local pub when something unusual happened. Watch the guy's shoelace.
Did you see that? It looks like something undid his shoelace. Some in the comments say the lace was stuck under his left foot and the shoe untied when he moved his right foot. Is that what you're seeing here? I think they might be right. Then again, a mischievous specter would be more fun. What is this creepy figure skulking in the darkness? The group encountered the creature at night hiding behind a pile of logs. Have this. Come on, let's go. Hey, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. The figure appears like a woman, but not quite human. Take a closer look. Is this an extraterrestrial? A ghost, perhaps? Your guess is as good as mine. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Crystal Hill 0193 This Redditor wrote, Checking out an abandoned school when we were chased out. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Lit underscore FUS 3D wrote, Scared out, I'd say. To which the uploader responded saying, We were on the highest floor, nobody was above us, but yet it came from above us, and when we got out of the building we heard footsteps running at us. Perhaps there was someone else in the building that day, and they weren't expecting visitors. Or perhaps this abandoned school truly is haunted. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. There's a demon in the cellar in this video from Dark Ghost Paranormal. As Dennis is peering into a stone storage cellar, he first hears its moan. Back in the house, some terrifying sounds start to reverberate through his radio. And then, Dennis is confronted by something unseen. After that terrifying instance, this happens. Then whole pieces of furniture start to move. And it doesn't stop there. After Dennis tries to get out of there, he goes to pick up something off the ground. That's when all heck breaks loose.
Later, Dennis leaves an infrared camera inside the house and heads outside. This is what he captures. Then this happens. You can literally see the demon on camera moving the crib and then breaking the wardrobe doors. What is this evil? All I know is, it's not something I'd want to encounter face to face. There's something lurking around this haunted place, shared by TikToker The King Horror. The kid who saw it with his own eyes cried in fear. <laughs> After racing far away from the place, they turn back and then they see this. <laughs> This hooded figure is something nightmares are made of, and he's the perfect villain for bedtime. YouTuber own vlogs stayed in this haunted hotel for 24 hours, and they didn't get a wink of sleep. It all began with the closest doors. <laughs> They slam closed but then open again. They open wide enough to reveal that there's no one inside. Later, they believe something is in the bathroom. Watch for the shadow in the corner. Well, the YouTuber thinks that this is a shadow person. I think it could belong to him. Watch it again. Could it just be the way this light falls in the bathroom? Share your opinion in the comments. While investigating the haunted Bel Air house, Sunny finds that the stories are true. Sunny's experience there gets off to a rocky start. The crew starts to sense things and hear things. Oh my. Sonny was coming up. You cheat. Why you got your light on? I well, I was trying to come down the steps. You got your light on too. Y'all appear like a bunch of Just turn your light off. My light is off. Okay. And then footsteps. Came over here. Listen. Sounded like footsteps, but I think uh, maybe picking up Christmas. But do they belong to his crew? Or is someone unseen closer than he thinks? Either way, I think it's time to find the exit of this place. YouTube channel The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations asks, Would you keep going? But before you answer that, here's some context. In this short video, they were exploring Sutro Tunnel Ghost Town in Dayton, Nevada. Watch and answer for yourself. Watch the door here. Coming on. 
Whoa! <laughs> and this was only upon entering. If you cross the threshold and this happens. Oh Whoa! <laughs> Would you take a step further? Me neither. Reddit or comfortable cry 8097 heard a noise while in bed. When she checked out her ring camera the next morning, this is what she saw. First, a noise is heard. Now watch the back center near the banister. What is that? To most in the comments, it looks like a full-bodied ghost, and it sounds like it's causing even more mayhem in the home. According to the Redditor, the figure was heading toward her bedroom, but the door remained shut. Well, most agree that it's a ghost, and I concur. Some suggest this could be a compressed artifact or some other camera glitch. But what of the noise? That one is not so easily explained. Isn't nature beautiful? This video shows us it's actually terrifying. Redditor Sarah in Alaska shared this clip of the stunning Alaskan wilderness. But listen closely to the audio. She's wondering if viewers hear a voice, and if so, if you can tell what it's saying. Redditor Endangered Mind 2 suggests that the voice says, race back down and Sarah agrees as they just reach the summit. After listening repeatedly, I agree that this is what it sounds like, but the voice is not theirs. So whose is it? I don't have any answers, but I think I'd keep off this trail for a while or never hike it again. Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. This TikTok posted by Diego Speckers is yet another example of that. Just watch. <laughs> wow, that's pure nightmare fuel. What was that child doing there, amongst the hanging laundry? <laughs> Its black inky eyes are a real giveaway. This thing's a demon. As the person backs off, you see it again for a split second in the gap. But there's nothing below for this thing to stand on. Don't know about you, but I think this is the real deal. Definitely a demon. Another reason to leave 3 a.m. to the owls. While crossing a bridge on a foggy night, this motorist witnessed a live vanishing act. Posted to TikTok, a biker is seen up ahead. The motorist looks right and then left while crossing the bridge. The biker is still in front of him, but he is getting more and more lost in the fog. And then suddenly, the biker disappears altogether, even as the fog clears up ahead. Where did he go? Wherever he went, humans were clearly not meant to see it. Some people are afraid of nuns to some extent, so imagine how a nun spirit might terrify someone like that. The Ouija brothers entered the UK's most haunted nunnery in this scary video. Early in their investigation, they hear this spooky sound. I'm just walking, I'm just having a look if there's anyone there. There was a humming. The humming happens again shortly after. Hold on, hold on, the, the, the humming just happened again. Later, they hear something wrestling very near them. It sounded like someone, you see there's like debris there on the floor. I don't know if it was like debris falling on the floor, but it was like movement. I don't know if something, like something like that. 
Was that just some of the debris from the wall falling off? Or is someone invisible standing in this corner? Considering how spooky this place feels, I personally think a ghost nun is there. Say your prayers. This creepy encounter was posted to Reddit by Ghosty Faze. A ring doorbell camera captured a young woman's stalker. The woman says she was followed home from Walmart and her stalker showed up on her doorstep. At first, the man appears to be looking for his own keys, but then he fails to find any and peers around the corner of the house. Many are wondering if the creep left something for his victim. Although we can agree that this is beyond creepy and edging into full-on horror, I do think this footage reminds us not to trust anyone. You never know when you could cross paths with someone like this. This paranormal activity couldn't be clearer. Published by Paranormal Mai in January of 2022, the paranormal investigator is speaking to the djinn that haunts this home. <laughs> As he speaks, the door slowly swings closed and then slams shut. An EVP captures a phrase that means, Shut up, we are at your home. <laughs> Who exactly is here? I don't want to stick around to find out. If you're hunting for gin, you better be prepared. YouTube Team HD Adam Paranormal searches for the creatures in this paranormal home and they find them. The radio first signals that a being stands in this corner. <laughs> As they continue around the haunted home, they encounter this shadow figure. <laughs> the shadow disappears, so they try to speak to the spirit. That's when they hear this. <laughs> <coughs> they hear unexplained banging as they search the place. Another bang, and then their sound goes out. Later, a strange rolling sound is heard. And something seems to be playing around with them. Maybe it's this. <laughs> Was this figure behind all of this paranormal activity? I'm of the opinion that there are multiple djinn active here. That's not sludge you're looking at. Published by Casey Spotlight, a creepy sludge-like creature was captured on film in the shallows of a lake. The figure looks squidgy, mushy, rubbery, and above all, slimy.
Its form seems malleable. Its movements is like an amoeba, altering its shape. It also appears to have a mouth, but one with no teeth and only grandma gums. Well, some in the comments say it's a leech. If that's the case, it's the biggest leech I've ever seen. What do you think it is? Any theories? Is there something in the attic? Redditor Air Icer suspects so. After hearing tapping on the attic wall, they meet it with Sage. <laughs> And this is what they captured. What was that sound? I tend to agree with Titus that this sounds like a metallic spring bang, but that doesn't necessarily negate a paranormal presence. Perhaps the spirit's just jumping up and down on the bed. This is not your average hanger on. While hanging in this creepy forest, note in the first video, this is a five-man crew. And yet, in the second video, a sixth person is lurking in the background, and he's acting very creepy. What is that dude doing back there? Is he part of the group, or do they even realize that he's there? Even if he is a member of the crew, I'd say they should keep an eye on him. His behavior seems a little bizarre to say the least. YouTuber Jossie Sandhu Official captured what he believes is a real witch on camera. First, he hears her crying. Then he sees her. Then she lets out this wail that would drive anyone away. Is this truly a witch? I think so. I've never heard something so otherworldly in my life. What secrets does this witch's cemetery hold? Dennis of YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal is about to find out. He first comes across this disturbing shelter guarded by cow skulls. He hears something nearby. He says voices are heard here. What? What? He sees a face in the structure. Camera vision. Так смотрю, нету ничего. Будто бы чье-то лицо. Вот два глаза. To me, this does look like a face, but it seems to be pareidolia. But later, he hears this through a paranormal device. Then he finds this unnerving collection of butterflies. His paranormal device again relays this strange sound while in the body's presence.
О, блин, мне даже страшно двигаться. Я хочу отсюда убежать. And again, the scary whistling noise is heard. The noise grows even more terrifying. I don't think Dennis should stay here any longer. The butterflies would have sent me over the edge, but that last sound is even more unnerving. The last thing you'd want for your Burger King chicken nuggets is a ghost playing with them, but we don't always get what we want. YouTuber Karaoke Batman shares the security footage of a supposed phantom playing around in this Burger King kitchen. Watch behind the worker. Like. Something threw a basket of chicken nuggets from the counter behind him. Watch again closely. <laughs> oh my god. Like. Since we can't see where the basket of nuggets fell from, I don't know if it simply toppled over or if some mysterious being threw it. I think we'd need further evidence of ghostly activity to draw any sort of conclusion on this one. This is purportedly the most haunted house in Guadalajara, Mexico. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez dares to enter, but he will soon regret it. As he tours the place, he spots this. La noche loca. Las personas que estuvieron en esa transmisión. Perro, ¿qué es eso? No mames. Did you see that figure? As he continues throughout the home, it seems to be stalking him. Oye, oye, ¿quién eres? Da la vida. Wherever he goes, it follows. Pues muéstrate, no seas cobarde. Muéstrate, muéstrate. Muéstrate, a la bestia, no mames. No, 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 tranquilo, 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 tranquilo. Is someone there? Ricky keeps hearing noises, like someone is just out of sight. entrado sobre esto? No, no manches. ¿Qué fue eso? After hearing humming during a spirit box session, things get wild. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think this home is definitely haunted, but by what? I'm not so sure. A strange creature straight out of The Lord of the Rings was caught on camera in the woods. Published by SEOOSST in April of 2022, the video appears to have been captured at dawn. The cameraman is walking through the woods. As he scans the area, his camera passes over this tree trunk and spots this mysterious creature hidden within. The creature has long pointy ears, big beady eyes, and grayish skin. Frankly, he looks a bit like Gollum. Upon seeing it, the cameraman immediately runs off. Is this a cryptid? A gnome? Or is this Gollum looking for his precious? What are these strange so-called light balls that keep setting this Redditor's cameras off? Redditor Spambone is wondering if the Reddit community has any theories. Well, let's see what we can come up with as well. Let's take a look. This goes on for two minutes. Sometimes two light bulbs appear simultaneously. 
Some say it's obviously a bug. Others think it's a web of some kind. Still, others say it's a laser pointer or a reflection of some other light source. Practically, no one thinks this is an orb or paranormal in any way, and neither do I. I'm firmly in the spider or cobweb camp. What do you think it is? Is this yet another creepy creature of the forest? Something pale and wide-eyed is playing peekaboo from behind this log. What is this thing? Some in the comments think it's a person wearing a mask, others think it's an opossum, but many think it's an owl, and I have to agree, unless it is, as Deflaco Napier suggests, a ghost bird. I think I just changed my vote. Something is manifesting in this abandoned hospital. YouTuber Lalo Escalante captured this creepy entity on camera during a paranormal investigation. The spirit there does not want to let them in. Asalgo, please. But it is there. See it lurking at the end of this hallway? When they enter the room, they find nothing, but the spirit continues to play. And then they see it again. But it always somehow evades them. The spirit again disappears. Only to make one last spooky cameo. <laughs> what does this spirit want? To me, it's difficult to tell if this is even a spirit at all. It looks solid and moves like a human. Then again, it disappears in a way that's unbelievable. It could go either way for me. What do you think is going on here? TikToker Marlene Sanchez 52 thought her partner was joking when he started to behave like something was pulling him. It turns out he wasn't. Watch closely. When I thought he was joking, but something was really pulling him. His leg really does look like it's being yanked by something. This is not a natural movement that you make on your own. Some in the comments also note a child's giggle at the beginning of the clip. <laughs> is that child actually there? Or is it the child spirit pulling his leg? I think it's the latter. And that's truly terrifying. Because that kid is strong. This creepy abandoned house is one of the most haunted places in the UK. And you're about to find out why. YouTube team the Ouija brothers investigate. As they approach the home, they think someone is there. I thought I was seeing something up in the top window then. You might have. Oh, God. Because the door's locked. I honestly thought I was seeing something up in the window. They continue inside, and Carl thinks he sees something. Whoa! What? Oh. No, no, no. Right. Run. It just says run on mine. That message is chilling. In another hallway, they hear two distinct taps. Cough. They hear another unexplained noise next. You hear that? I didn't. 
It's okay. In your room? Just in front of me, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't make a noise. I'll check back on that. And another... What was that? Is that you? You were me. Sounded like something coming from a cupboard. It was like a... Yeah. Or... I'm not sure if any of this was actual proof that the place is haunted, but I do think these mysterious sounds, coupled with what the guys saw here, may warrant further investigation. There's a poltergeist to foot in this abandoned house. YouTuber Paranormal Mai investigates, and he soon discovers why the home has been abandoned. <laughs> The falling of the tray at the beginning would have been enough to send me packing, but the chair slamming sideways at the end has me absolutely convinced that there's something here that doesn't want us here. I think we should show ourselves out. You can see a lot more from a bird's eye view, but that doesn't make things any clearer. YouTuber Stromedy captured something truly disturbing from his drone in the middle of the night. Watch and see if you can make sense of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the dude? Whoa, what that? That's a runner, dude. That's a runner. Look, whoa. Now, now he just got up and started running. They're both running. Dude, both dude, running. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, guys, guys, calm, calm. Stay calm, stay calm. People are running amok, knocking others over. What is happening here? I can't make heads or tails from this. And at ground level, it gets even stranger. I'm landing it. Wait, go! Yo, 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 yo. What is this guy after? I'd like to think this was some sort of game this group plays at night, but I have no idea what that game could be. Can anyone make sense of this? When your home is occupied by shadow figures, it's probably time to move out. Redditor Bianca5150 set up a security camera to try and catch which one of her dogs was doing damage in her home. She received a notification, alerting her to movement, and when she checked the footage, she found this. Did you see the shadow figure? Most in the comments think she should get out now, and I tend to agree. If we're to believe that no one was really home, this is one of the best pieces of shadow figure footage that I've ever seen. Now you see it, now you don't. A pale, ghostly figure appears at the end of the darkened hallway. It seems to enter from the left. The dog clearly sees it and runs toward it. Then when the light flips on, the figure just disappears. The dog seems as surprised by this turn of events as we are. Watch it again. The figure is visibly there, there's no mistaking it. So where did it go? Although I'm not sure where the figure disappeared to, I did notice something else in the video. Watch the shadow on the floor after the light flickers on. Something clearly walks past in the other room. Is it the ghostly figure or some other monster? What do you see around this corner? Published by Arte Morbid and originally posted on TikTok by Haunted Wesley E. Manor. This short clip is just one more proof that the manor is truly haunted. In a very dusty chamber of the castle, watch the corner of the arched doorway closely. What appears to be the figure of a small boy with glowing eyes peeks out for a moment before pulling back behind the barricade. He seems to be hiding. Is this a ghost? Or some small kid playing tricks in the castle? Most in the comments think it doesn't look human and call it very creepy. What do you think? I think we are going to be left with more questions than answers for the time being. A haunted coffee shop? Never heard of such a thing. But that's what YouTube team The Haunted Side are investigating in Virginia City, Nevada. Their investigation opens with a subtle sound. Heard that. That was in here. The spirits then respond to the team's requests via their paranormal devices. Can you touch that little box right there on the bar? 
Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Just like that. Look. Look. What the f is that? The unexplained noises continue. No. Something made a noise right before I did that. And in the kitchen, they hear a whisper or a breath. Sounded, sounded like a voice. The voice is heard again, louder this time, but it's unclear what it's saying. Is that you? As they're looking on a thermal camera, more unexplained noises resound. And now it's like over by the door and gone. Whoa. What? And a voice. That's the first voice I've heard come through there. Next, Patrick feels something touch his neck. That, gotta put the camera down for a second. Ooh. Something like. Not not a scratch, per se, but like. And just as he's about to speak, the spirits clink their glasses. Where are you, right? Ooh. What was that? The noises don't end there. What the f is that? Then a bunch of his tech acts up on its own. I'm holding it down, the SLS closed. The full spectrum camera shut off. That was rolling. Is the IR light on? It opened back up on its own. What is happening here? As he's trying to figure it out, another clinking sound is heard. That is. What the f The spirit is even taking requests now. Can you make a noise like that again, please? Whoa! Whoa! And then denying them. What the f is that? In my opinion, despite the ambient noise throughout the clip, there are too many mysterious sounds in this place to deny that it's haunted. But all I'm wondering is, if this spirit serves up a decent cup of boo brew, Redditor asserted skirted motion activated cameras detected motion in the middle of the night, but it isn't something I've ever seen before. Keep an eye on the bottom of the garage door. Here it is again, more slowly. Something appears to slip beneath the garage door, but it looks like a shadow. My guess would be that this is an unknown shadow entity. The way the shadow reaches out is even tentacle-like. What do you think it is? This team of paranormal explorers sees a stalker in the darkness. YouTuber Rodolfo Augusto and his team are searching a bathroom and are quickly met with fear. Hey! Hey! Escutei barulho lá atrás, ó. Aqui. Deve ser. Onde que tem lá? Vamos ali, só olhar ali e vamos lá pra casa. Is someone stalking them? Essa desdevastação toda. E no sítio da minha tia. Tudo caído lá pra dentro. Aqui, mano, parece túmulo. Olha que túmulo ali, velho. Parece que foi enterrado pessoa aí, né? They find some strange prints in the sand. Que? Oi, tem alguma coisa aqui que passou em cima aí, ó. Sai daí, pinguim, vai que tem gente morta aí. But they don't yet see it. I think someone must be hot on their heels. But what exactly that is, only time will tell. The last thing you want to find in a toilet stall is a viewing gallery. That's what Redditor Chopper Ian discovered in a lady's cubicle at a UK pub in Hampshire. Posted to the casual UK subreddit, the Redditor asks, What is the point of this? The video shows a small sliding door between the toilet stalls, with latches on either side to lock it. But why would it need to be unlocked in the first place? And why is it there at all? The Redditor notes that this was a nice country pub. Some suggest it's used to confess your sins, others to hold hands. Many in the comments refer to the Seinfeld episode, in which Elaine realizes she's run out of toilet paper and asks the neighboring stall to spare a square. 
And actually, that seems to be the consensus among Redditors in the thread for the utility of this sliding door. What do you think it's for? Is one of America's greatest presidents still roaming the earth? YouTuber Soul Searching thinks so. She visited President Lincoln's tomb at the Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois. The place is said to be haunted. Let's see if it is. Right away, Shannon gets a response to her inquiries. Walk up to me. Ooh, I heard a noise. Was that you, Mr. Lincoln? I heard a noise. When she asks the spirit to knock, Can you knock on this? There we go. It answers a moment later. Unless there's construction going on inside the tomb, I don't know what would explain the knocking in response. My thoughts are that Lincoln's spirit remains here. This paranormal investigator regularly observes the Savannah Theater. This is one of the first videos Redditor Background Ad 6785 captured there. Look at how much it slows down. That's so and the insane. Shape, it's just what threw me off. Wait, show the... Do you see the thing flying around? Look at how much it slows down. Yeah. That's so and the insane. Shape, Why does it slow down so much? Some in the comments think it's dust or a moth. I do think both theories are likely, but I'd prefer to think there's something more mysterious happening at the Savannah Theater. The last place you want to hear screaming is in a cemetery, in the darkness of night. That's what YouTuber Thrills heard when he was visiting Fox Island Cemetery, which is said to be haunted by a man in black. As they first enter the cemetery, they hear an unexplained hissing noise. Um, I will say the other camera is a lot easier to hit. What the heck is that? It's not, yeah, not that here, that's it. And soon the screaming starts. Did you hear it again? Yeah, I just heard it. After moving along, they hear the screaming a second time. What is this right here? I definitely just heard something, yeah. And then a third directly after. I definitely just heard something, yeah. While this might be a wild animal or someone just hollering for the fun of it, it could also be the legendary man in black. I think he might just be toying with them. What would you do if someone was stalking you? That's a decision YouTuber Near Shadows had to make while on the scariest randonautica of their lives. At this site, they come across a golden box amongst some trees and brush. Oh, what is that? No. no way. Uh-uh. It's too cold for all this. Come grab this. I got gloves. What is this? When they lift it, they see it's bound with tape and fishing line. Babe, it's like a weird box that's binded up. I kind of see. It has fishing line on it. It has fishing line Look on it. it. I don't want to oh. Look at this. Oh my god. You guys see that? They examine it and discover something shocking. Whoa. What? This says 50th anniversary on it. 50th anniversary? Look, 50th anniversary. Not kidding. Oh wow. What does that mean? Not kidding. The art. When they open it up, this is what they find. We're going to get into this. What the heck? It's, it's a balloon. It's a balloon that has like 61, 16. Balloons. It sounds like there's rocks it or something. Like there's rocks or pebbles in there, yo. What the heck? With something inside them. Do you feel anything in that one? Yeah. That one doesn't sound, that one sounds empty. There's little pieces of something in it. Let me see. Like, it almost sounds like... It almost feels like bullets or something. It's kind of weird. And this clue? 
It's a piece of paper. Sixth Street. 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 It's like a ripped up portion of a map. And it says Sixth Street. Street. Babe, we're on Sixth Street. When they open the balloon, they uncover a mystery. What is that? It's a little bead and it has the number two on it. What do these numbers mean? Good close up. Pause this and... They then notice some people watching them. Who's this person walking over oh God, here? Are they coming over here? Come on, guys. Some freaking. Please, please don't come over here. Please. Oh. But they realize they're probably not here for them. What was that? I'm not touching it. it could be drugs in this neighborhood. They open up the second balloon. Oh, I'm sure, they're beads. These are big beads. That's what she said. Would you? <laughs> Oh no, dropped the bead. The letters must mean something too, but what? A, Z, S. Near Shadows continues to follow this mystery of a missing person's case in their next video. I'm curious as to what these clues mean. I assume the girl who went missing was 16, judging by the balloon, and this is the 50th anniversary since she went missing. But as to the numbers and letters, I guess we'll have to wait for the series' next installment. The Jagged Things crew visited a haunted hotel in this paranormal investigation. A few things happened while exploring the home that they didn't notice until watching the video back. The first occurs behind Linda. Watch closely. Did you see that? It looks like something passes behind her. Here it is, more slowly. To me, it looks like it could just be the backlighting from the window distorted by Linda's position in front of the doorway and the movement of the camera. But this isn't the only spooky thing to occur. Watch the door at the end of the hall. And here's a close-up. Although it's more interesting to think this was paranormal, I have to admit it could also be a draft. Still, both are great captures. What do you think is going on here? YouTuber Darklife says this was the worst EHF find he's ever discovered in an abandoned house. Dennis explains that he didn't bring his tent so he won't be spending the night. Later inside, a spirit confirms that she is there. The spirit says that she remembers her relatives. As Dennis is standing in the dark, he accidentally steps on a hornet's nest. Opa. Yeah, Papa. He leaves a camera down there instead, so as not to be stung, but something spins his camera around. I don't know what did that, but it was not a hornet. Ghost Club Paranormal is spending the night at a cursed witch's cabin in the middle of the forest, and you better believe that terror unfolds. While attempting to commune with the spirits, they hear them walking overhead. How many people are here? Do 
you hear that? The spirit then confirms its presence. Upstairs. If that was somebody trying to communicate, can you do that again? When they set up the spirit box, several paranormal devices are triggered. Oh, that light just came on. I just got it. <laughs> are you sitting over by the bar? Oh, oh, me too. They question the spirits and are answered. Did a man die here? And then the spirits start playing games. Let's uh, go downstairs again and we'll take this a little faster. Though. Hey. Oh. <gasps> you did see that, right? Did you touch that? I didn't even touch it. Did, are you I me didn't, right I, didn't, I didn't touch it. Later, as one of the crew turns on the spirit box, the flashlight dims. I'm gonna stick this on again real fast. The spirits are descending. But we have heard a man. And they continue to communicate through lights. What does that matter? Oh. Whoa. Second I put this on night vision, that flashlight just started going like crazy. And taps. Was that you that just touched my head? Tapping again. Is this the witch trying to get closer to them? Or one of the witch's victims? Dennis and Tim team up in this video on YouTube channel Nerf Paranormal, and they think this poltergeist is pushing them to do dangerous things. Upon entering the abandoned site, they find something out of place. As they explore, Dennis sees something pass by. Then as they enter, If that wasn't scary enough, this happens. I agree that it's time to leave, but will the evil poltergeist let them? With nowhere to go, they tried to escape from the roof. But they decide against it. They re-enter the house and leave out the window instead. That was a close call, and I agree with Dennis that the poltergeist was trying to drive them out via a risky route. I'm glad they didn't listen though. What happened at the Mount Morris Mystery House in Pennsylvania? The homeowners reached out to Spirit Walk Paranormal after a spirit claimed they'd find human remains on the property, and they did soon find something. What looks to be a canvas style material that has deteriorated over time. Is it a body? 
Yes, but it's not what you think. And that still doesn't make any sense. No. I had some sharp teeth. You think? The mystery continues as they use dousing rods to speak with the spirits. Do you know that I'm recording you on video right now? Can you point him to Ferris, right? Is there someone else buried in the yard here? Finally, they ask the spirit to point them in the right direction. Where should we go? I just want to make a note that only the one rod has moved. This is almost like a treasure hunt. X marks the spot. Okay. If that's where, it, where Tyler just marked, make an X if that's where it needs to be. Now it's time to start digging. Yeah, I went to this because look. Mm-hmm. It's glass. Oh, I hit roots. They get nearer. Although they don't find the bodies they were looking for, they do find something else. So we just found a hand grip from a revolver. Now it is made of plastic, so it suggests that it is newer. Do you think it's relevant? Or are there more secrets on this property? YouTuber Extinct File encounters the ghost of the Pocahontas in this creepy video. As the team explores the abandoned place, they spot the ghost in a doorway. A little further along, they capture an unexplained sound. And then another. They believe the spirit here was pregnant. They then hear wailing in the distance. It continues for minutes. After a while, the crying stops, but then starts up again. And then this happens. No mames, wey! No mames, come on, those! When they enter the enclosure, the figure is gone. Where did she go? I'm convinced they truly encountered the ghost of the Pokeontes, and if they did, they'd better hope these spirits didn't attach themselves. This paranormal crew's third visit to this prison did not disappoint. CVS Paranormal enters Dorchester Prison, a criminal facility in which executions have been carried out. In previous investigations of this prison, the team has captured some truly eerie figures on camera, like this one. As the team enters, whispering is heard on the audio. This is a big main entrance where down there is, um, yeah. Big main entrance where down there is, um. A second EVP captures a low growl. 
This is surely followed by a door closing or opening. Sounded like a growl or something. Sounded like a growl or something. And scratching noises. This is a big one. Yeah, definite noises. The singing is what's really chilling. I, I just heard, I swear I just heard singing. It sounded like it was coming from here as well. Soldier. Oh! But it's when you're not searching for ghosts that they come find you. Trust me. It seems Dorchester Prison is truly rife with activity, but whether it's good or evil is anyone's guess. While exploring the abandoned Davutlu village, the YouTube crew from Han Kardisler find they're not alone. One woman comes out of the woodwork. Hi. The woman leads them to this strange dark figure hiding behind a corner, but the figure disappears as they approach. It then reappears in the downstairs window. The mysterious figure appears only as a form, a shadow if you will. While the crazy woman tells the crew something, her silent husband stands by with his back to the camera. The figure has again vanished from sight. And then the woman appears to go nuts, shooing them off and even throwing stuff at them. After being chased around, they later see the figure in the window again. But it's not any clearer what the figure is. I have no clue what this entity may be, but it seems to me that this old woman might be protecting it from outsiders. I'm not so sure it needs her protection though. A woman believes her second property is haunted by the ghost of a child who lost their life in the creek outside. She contacted Mindseed TV to investigate. The Mindseed crew traveled to the remote location to see what they could find. Out by the frozen creek, they discover strange footprints on the ice. Check this out. Let me get tight on that. Something tried to run across. You can see a little, like the little hand. Look, it's like a little, that looks like a hand, but I know it's like probably animal paws because there's four of them here, look. Later, through a spirit box, they hear this communication. Has this heartbreaking admission come from the child ghost? Upon laying down to sleep for the night, the guys hear something strange. Yeah. Here it is again with the volume increased. Yeah. Yeah. Later that night, they spot a shadowy figure in the snow outside. Cut the light. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. Do you, what is that? Do you see that right there? What is that? 
I don't oh, know. bro, it's, it's moving. It's moving. Watch the back of the yard. Dude, what is that? Oh, know. bro, it's, it's moving. It's moving. What the f is that? Oh, f dude. That definitely looked like a child to me. It's standing upright and is small in stature. I do think this may be the spirit of the child who prematurely lost his life nearby. But what does it want with the living? Maybe he just needs help crossing over to the other side. For more creepy videos like this one, be sure to check out Mindseed TV's channel. The Monbury Rings in Dorchester, UK have a terrible history. YouTube team CVS Paranormal investigates this haunted place, and what they hear is disturbing. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. To me, it sounded like a mix of voices and pigs grunting in the darkness. Shortly after, they hear footsteps in the grass nearby. Ooh, what? Sure then this creepy moan is heard. If you are walking, did you hear that? As one of the team feels something touch your head, children's laughter is heard in the background. It's felt like something just touched my hair, my head. They hear a rustling in the trees that they don't believe is the wind. Like come from over there just now. In the trees. Are you over by the trees? Can you hear it? It does look like there's a breeze though, and it could just be an animal settling, but this next noise does not sound natural. What was that? I don't know. And then again, they hear footsteps. I... Yeah. Is something stalking them in the darkness? The humming they hear suggests so. Oh, it's really going now. While well, I don't hear the humming sound in the end myself, I can hear all of the other unsettling noises in this clip. To me, the most disturbing part was the pig grunting and voices heard in the very beginning. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. What do you think? Who's tapping at the window at 3 a.m.? This video by TikToker, Diego Spikers, will have you dead bolting your door. You can see a woman through the window aggressively knocking at the bathroom door of this apartment. But when the guy opens it to her, no one is there. Where did she go? Some in the comments say this could be After Effects editing. Others say he should have knocked back. I personally like that idea. Which side are you on here? YouTuber Tim Morozov always encounters terrible things, but this demon takes the cake. When he requests that the demon shows itself, it does so with gusto. If there is someone there, you can answer me. Don't ask something you don't want the answer to. Later it reveals itself. Well, that was terrifying. And the terror doesn't end there. Something's in the room with him. Later, he finds a toy horse in this basement room. After moving across the room, he turns to find that the horse moved. Who are you? 
ты здесь. When he turns on the camera in the room, he discovers the demon is near. Tim attempts to touch the demon. Я тебя вижу. И не бойся меня. Ты умеешь разговаривать? But the demon disappears. Where did it go? I'm afraid that Tim got too close to it, and perhaps it possessed him. YouTuber Adam Mark explores this abandoned mansion. The owner passed away, leaving everything behind. After a while, the place became frozen in time. A little spiraling staircase. You can see the decay on the walls. All the paint peel. Carpet's quite trodden in. Bit grimy. See all the marks up the walls. Which lets me think it has been abandoned a while. The cupboards are full of items that no one will ever read. But everything is just completely full. Everything's left behind in this one. Old video camera there, look. <laughs> Very strange. Adam breaks out the K2 and gets some readings in certain parts of the house. Alright, so we're getting little bits. There we go, there we go. Sum it down here. Look at this. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. Using another paranormal device, Adam is directly warned by the spirits. Are you the spirit that passed away here? Listen to that exactly where I thought it would go, by the guitar. And then he sees something unexplainable. Did you just show your hand around that wall? <laughs> Guys, this is so weird. I uh, one million percent have just seen it. It was like a hand reaching around that wall there. Are Adam's eyes playing tricks on him? I don't think so. This one looks like a real gut punch of fear. Considering this along with all of the spirit communications, I feel that the residents are here after all. Do you ever pull an all-nighter in a haunted house? Paranormal investigators Dennis and Tim pair up as Nerve Paranormal to spend the night in this haunted place. They set up cameras and a tape recorder inside. First, a shadow in the corner is seen. <laughs> Once they have the cameras positioned, they go to sleep. Something immediately messes with their camera. And then their lights. Another camera captures something entering their room. You're probably asking yourself, how could they sleep through all that racket? Well, they won't sleep through this. There's nothing inside, but there definitely is. And I think Dennis and Tim won't be getting any more sleep tonight. YouTube channel Dayton Haunted Explorers dive into the Fairfield County Infirmary.
and the amount of activity they get is intense. After setting a camera up in the infirmary, they capture a series of unexplained sounds. They capture even more activity in the attic. Later, even more EVPs are captured. Then, as they attempt to communicate with the spirits, the windows start to rattle. One of the crew enters this room, and she captures a blurry figure on camera. After feeling like she was grabbed a couple times, the crew packs it up to leave, but the spirits aren't done yet. Were the spirits trying to get them? They may not have succeeded this time, but I'm guessing they'll have better luck with the people who enter this haunted place next. YouTuber DDog Michael is back at it again, exploring this abandoned place, and he is not alone. What? After being scared to his wit's end, Michael enters another dark room and sees this. <laughs> Did that hand just confront him? The mystery continues as he enters a room of mirrors. <laughs> After this terrifying encounter, he keeps on going. Someone is there for sure. And that someone is stalking him. Come on, you. <laughs> Michael hears both a girl and a man in this haunted place, but are they good or evil? I think that he'd better hedge his bets because he can't be sure. What would you do if your daughter's imaginary friend was a demon? Originally posted by TikToker Leo Lords 15 this video was shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah and is now trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. The TikToker explains that her daughter has been communicating with someone ever since they moved into this old house. Hey, so we are just moving in. I'm Literally, it's such a mess. I'm sorry, but my daughter has been talking to an imaginary friend. After letting it run, this is what she found. It's looks beautiful and funny. What do you guys doing? And want to play. While talking with her stuffed animals and or her imaginary friend, the closet door opens on its own. Yeah. 
A strange growling noise is heard. The girl seems to hear it too and takes it as her cue to leave. Imaginary friends will always be creepy, but I'm not sold on the growling noises. It sounds like it's edited in. In fact, it sounds less like growling and more like someone drinking from a straw. What do you think? Is this girl's imaginary friend a demonic creature? Or is this a sound effect? YouTuber Exploring with Josh explores the Screaming Witch's Forest on Pendle Hill, and they aren't disappointed. Their first sign is when the REM pod goes off. Dude. It like it was like It even was poking the thing. Now I'm getting freaked out. When two go off at once, it's obvious they are in a powerful presence. Whoa! Whoa! Bro! They're both they're both going off at the same time! Yo! Holy Dude. I gotta get off this rock before I bust. Oh my god. Both at the same time. That was insane. How, how many times do you ever see a The spirit then starts to curse at them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That just lit up every single light! Another kind of god. F*** you! Holy sh**! It just said f*** you! Tell me not! Oh my god, it definitely did! Hey! Did it just hey! Say? It's an evil hey! And then they become more aggressive. Oh no! Bro, Hang on, bro. What the f*** was what that? What did you just do then? I didn't do anything, but I just felt like a really bad pain in my back. What do you like, mean? Like a scratch, like an actual, like like a dagger. No, are you serious? No, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm, like, I'm not joking. I mean, dude, I, I believe you. Their devices go berserk, and when Josh lifts his shirt, he reveals that he definitely was scratched by a spirit. Like, for, no, 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 dude, Josh, no, dude. Not, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You've got to be kidding me. Josh, have you done this? No. No, promise me. No, I, bro, I promise. I was just with you. Like, I... You guys see me this whole time. I've been recording this whole time. Gosh, um... I feel there is definitely some residual witchcraft on Pendle Hill, and to me, it's clear that it will take no prisoners. This is a witch's abode, and even in the afterlife she has not left. Dennis from YouTube channel Dark Life is paying the haunted house a visit in this scary video. While taking some photographs in this room, he sees something in the mirror that gives him pause. He explains what he saw. Это мне реально сейчас не показалось. В зеркале в том проходе кто-то стоял вот там. This is what he actually captured on camera. Well, it does appear to be the profile of a person. It could also simply be shadows falling in a perturbing manner. But later, this happens. What do you see here? Again, I feel like this could just be pareidolia. The way the light and shadows fall is conjuring up images that aren't really there. Or are they? It does look like a shadow is reaching out to touch Dennis at this point. In this creepy video, ghost hunter Luan Mendez and his team are investigating this spooky abandoned building. Oh, as they approach, one of the crew sees something, but what they find is not meant to be found. Opa! Tem alguém aí? Ó, tem gente aqui, irmão. Calma, calma, calma. Nossa, irmão! Despite the freaky scene, they enter, and they soon regret it. 
Morcego, morcego. Oh, olha! Você tá mostrando o dedo. Oh, tá mostrando o dedo, Júlio. Tem sangue na boca dele. Ah, nossa! Ah. Vai, puta, tá, tá cheio de morcego. Tá atacando, Júlio, cuidado. After being bombarded by the bat, the team later hears a noise in the abandoned home. They look around to find its source. Opa. Of course, they flee, but the mystery of the figure draws them back in. Oh. Olha o prego, ó. Eu falei que que eu me rasguei, irmão. Que o prego aqui, ó. Tá doendo meu braço, velho. But the hooded figure has now disappeared. It appears to me as though the crew walked straight into a ritual of some kind. But what type of ritual is the million dollar question? This young YouTuber had just begun her channel when something horrific put a stop to it. Shared by YouTube channel EXTV, this scary video is currently trending. In the Brazilian YouTube community, the YouTuber had experienced paranormal happenings in her home before, including sounds on the rooftop, mysterious lights, and moans in the house. But she had yet to capture anything on camera, until now, as she introduces herself and her channel, something else introduces itself behind her. After the camera goes dark, the monster escapes to the rooftop. Papa! <laughs> But it doesn't stop there. What is this demon? It looks like something nightmares are made of, and maybe it is, but just like your nightmares, it isn't real. After digging further, I found the video's original source is Nicaraguan CGI channel JJPD Producciones, although this may just be CGI. I don't know how this channel mined and illustrated something straight from my nightmares. The Hinsdale House in New York is haunted. And these paranormal explorers are about to find out just how haunted it truly is. Early on, the spirits don't seem to want to be recorded. It's funny. The REM pod upstairs starts going off. <laughs> Is that your REM upstairs? Shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned it on. It's up in Laura's doorway. Well, wow. can you hear it? It's bulls beeping. It was, yeah. It's, it's going off again up there. After hearing a woman talking in the kitchen, the REM pod is triggered again. Are you here with us right now? The crew is then given a clear message via a spirit box. When they don't leave, the spirits continue to interact. They even ask for help. Can you light it up again in five, four, three, two, one? Oh. Is this what the dandies had to deal with on the regular? No wonder they fled this house. Or we'll leave you terrified. Keep an eye on the water pump. Oh my god. Allah, 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 All
আমার কিন্তু অলরেডি কিন্তু গা হাতটাকে একটা কাবা শুরু হয়ে গেছে ভাই আমি কিন্তু হ্যাঁ ভাই আমার কিন্তু অলরেডি গা হাতটা কাবা শুরু হয়ে গেছে ভাই যে গরম কাটে করতেছে আমার ভাই সেম টাইম হচ্ছে ভাই আমার ভাই কেমন করে গাড়া ভার হয়ে যাচ্ছে As the pump continues to pump on its own, one of the crew gets closer, and he's left with a fright. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Lad, hey, call me with the dua. Hey, call me with the dua. Where is it? Where is it? Call me with the dua. Where is it? The ghost isn't finished rehydrating either. Call me with the dua. Where is it? Look, hey. Hey, hey. Call me with the dua. Where is it? Where is it? Look, hey. Allah. But it seems he's not rehydrating with water, but rather some sort of dark fog. As the water pump continues to fog, they wonder what exactly they've come across. My theory is that this is the water pump to the fiery depths below, and it's acting as a chimney as well. Others seem to think that it's simply air pressure occurring from beneath the well. But what of the dark fog? I think something nefarious is at play here. Located in South Carolina, YouTuber Mo Sarji claims that this is the original Crybaby Bridge. Mo finds he isn't the first to check it out and won't be the last. I just found a Ouija board on the Crybaby Bridge. What? It's wet. That is crazy. I just found a Ouija board. After finding this homemade Ouija board, a strange truck starts stalking Mo and his team. Yeah, that's the same truck. Oh, stop. Need to stop. Oh, he's coming back. They return to their investigation, but after asking too many questions, they're met with a vice grip. Did you love your husband? Whoa. Ah, ah, what the f is that? <coughs> what the f is that? Grab my neck. <coughs> Grab your neck? <coughs> Did the female ghost react negatively to this question? As they consider leaving, they sense a presence on the bridge. I, I felt something walking over here, bro. I guess it's time to go. I believe Mo pushed the crybaby bridge ghost too far. She didn't like his nosiness, and she took it out on him. He is lucky he didn't become the next ghost to haunt this place. According to YouTuber Zero One Supernatural Studio, a gambler lived in this place. He lost all the land in a bet and then chose to take his own life. Let's see if his presence remains. The ghost hunter quickly gets a reading. Inside his meter spikes. The spike occurs right next to a mirror. Could this be a portal into another world? As he continues his search, he hears a voice. Here it is again with the infrared on. He asks the spirit to touch a paranormal device.
It seems to me that the spirit is here, but what the spirit's intentions are remains a mystery. Paranormal explorer Chris L. Luna has spent many sleepless nights due to paranormal activity in her home in the Dominican Republic. She decided to record her bedroom while sleeping. This is what she captured. Watch the pillow on the bed. Next, the picture moves on the wall. Chriselle wakes up for a bit, maybe sensing something, but then goes back to sleep, and the picture moves again. Chriselle gets up after witnessing it for herself. That's when she sees this mysterious anomaly. And while outside, she captures this face in the window. Has Chriselle unknowingly brought home legions of spirits and demons during her paranormal investigations? That's my theory, and it seems they're determined to never let her sleep again. A strange encounter between a ghost and a security guard was captured on camera and published by TN. Hospital security camera footage shows the automatic doors opening and the security guard getting up to receive a patient. Only there's no one there. However, the guard clearly appears to see someone and is even captured directing the patient. He then closes the barrier and returns to his seat. When questioned later, the security guard claimed to have seen a female patient whose details he jotted down in the registration folder. In a second video, he is seen offering the invisible patient a wheelchair. He said the woman was headed to the ninth floor to pick up some belongings, but when he didn't see her leave after significant time passed, he called the employees on the ninth floor who said they didn't attend to anyone. The patient's details matched those of a patient who had passed away the day prior in the sanitarium. This is the story that's been told. Do you believe it? Or is it all an act, as some suspect? I think this is authentic footage, and if it is an act, then give this man an Oscar. Tuber exploring with Josh spent the night in this building, one of the UK's most haunted hospitals. It's called the Bonnie Garth Workhouse slash Asylum. Up to 300 people lost their lives in or died. Or 300 died people couldn't lie. At first, the explorers scare each other. Yes, I bet. I'm so glad no one got my reaction. Dude. But later, they discover it's not each other they should be afraid of. You can let me know. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You ready? Oh, Whoa! Oh, Holy Holy sh oh, sh oh, my God. I've never seen anything like that before. After receiving that confirmation, they get a verbal one as well. Or is there more like you here? Do you like us? According to the spirit's communication, there are more like him around. Did one of these others touch Seth? We're back in the dark. We're finding the stairs. Oh, something just f touched Yo. my back. Yo, chill, chill, Jesus. chill. For real? I swear to f bro. Dude, I'm telling you, this one. 
I believe the spirit when he says he's not alone. The fact that multiple devices were triggered when the spirit was questioned makes me think this isn't just coincidence. Something is residing here. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Master Allen 73 this redditor wrote, Me and my girlfriend are asleep at 3.55 a.m. when the door closes on its own. There is a door stopper holding it in place. I'm always very skeptical of the paranormal and other footage I have captured. But this one? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. ASAP Rab wrote, I'm sure you've noticed, but just after 31 seconds, there is some kind of particle or orb going straight up near the bathroom entrance. Creepy footage. And the uploader replied saying, Honestly, I had not noticed it. I had been concentrating on the door looking for shadows. While well, TCG Games wrote, How many days do you wake up and your door is closed? Was the heater or the air conditioner on? Has this happened in the past? And the uploader replied saying no. This was the first time in 8 months. With or without the AC running, it's never closed on its own. Can you think of any other explanation for this footage? I think there's a good chance there's a ghost also in this bedroom. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Fit Entry 2562 this redditor wrote, Lightning without thunder. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Zoidberg GE thinks that this is heat lightning. Well, Tillman117 wrote, There's no such thing as heat lightning. The reason why you can't hear it is because it's simply too far away. The light from lightning can travel a very large distance as the sound cannot. Considering clouds can be thousands of feet in the air, and the distance you are from that cloud currently can just mean it's too far away for you to hear it. So it seems like both sides are at least in agreement that this mysterious storm has an explanation. But nevertheless, what do you think this is? Let me know in the comments. If you do a seance in a haunted home, expect the spirits to come out to play. Published by Ali H in March of 2022, something is wreaking havoc in this haunted house. After seeing this unexplained mess in their kitchen, this couple was left wondering who is responsible. I closed the gate. I closed the gate. I closed the gate. Maybe it's this weeping spirit. Do you hear that? Later, Ali is in another room of the home when a loud thud sounds from the next room. He goes to check it out and finds the spirits have made another tornado of a mess. <laughs> He tries to communicate with the poltergeist through a spirit box, and as he's recording, the spirit pulls up a chair. Oh my <laughs> Later, Ali hears someone or something coming up the stairs.
Are the spirits gathering round? It certainly seems like it. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted, this redditor wrote, The Haunted Frank Lloyd Wright House in Florida. This place has always been active. Check out the full video over on our YouTube channel. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. I just wanted an orb fly by toward you. What was that? I heard something. That sounded like it was in the kitchen. That sounded like it was on top of the room. Guys, is there something here with us? We are not alone. We can hear you walking. I heard something. Well, it certainly seems like the spirits that reside in this home are active. I guess it really makes no difference who the architect of a home is in the eyes of a spirit. My theory is the spirits here are trying to scare this paranormal team into never returning again. While exploring an abandoned place, an animalistic growling sets this ghost hunter's nerves on edge. Published by Beshawn76, Altamimi in May of 2022, this scary clip reveals that this place is still alive. The growling voice seems to threaten the ghost hunter. The next moment, he captures window shutters opening and closing, and then a toilet lid shutting on its own. <gasps> but it's this umbrella that's truly creepy. The umbrella is simply sitting on the ground, then the ghost hunter pans his camera around the room and back again. But now the umbrella has moved. He captures it on camera, moving again. Is the growling demon causing all of this mayhem? This man had better get out while he still has the chance. An empty room, a casket, and this disturbing noise. Hello? What would you do if you found yourself in this situation? Twitter user Sitio Paranormal shares this terrifying video. Things only escalate from here. Hello? After fleeing only to find her way out locked, she returns to the casket and discovers this. This video's first-person perspective makes it all the more creepy to me. I'm terrified until the end that someone or something will soon pop up behind her. But this is where the video ends, on a cliffhanger. I did some digging and it appears this video is from Shudder's movie VHS 94. At least that gives some sense of relief. Class is still in session at this abandoned school. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in April of 2022, this ghost hunter set out to explore the school, which is said to be haunted by the ghost of a student who is found lifeless there. After entering the school, he hears the haunting before he sees it. A chair squeals across the ground as it's being dragged by something unseen. When the chair slows to a stop, he hears another noise. Going to investigate, he finds a swing set in action. Though no one is in the seats, same goes for a second swing set nearby. 
As he continues around the playground, he hears another noise. He races back to the school and peers inside the broken screens of the classroom windows. That's when he sees this upon entering the room. This upsetting sight scares him enough to leave this place. Unlike the ghosts of past students, who it appears have never left, when the paranormal comes after you, do you stick around for more? Published by Han Kardisler, that's what this group did. And they weren't disappointed. As the paranormal crew is searching an abandoned school, they find something frightening inside. They're in one room examining things when a sound is heard from the other end of the room. A moment later, a large beam of wood is shoved off a table to the floor. They cross the room, closer to the action. And as they're talking, another large piece of wood comes flying at one of them from the door. Still, they remain in the room, as though nothing happened. Are these guys crazy, or are they unfazed because they're so used to this stuff? Whatever the case, They'd best run. The Phantom is getting more aggressive by the minute. This next one will make anyone terrified of exploring the backwoods ever again. Redditor Mutt Magician shares this pair of creepy videos to Reddit. He writes, I was in the backwoods of Oklahoma when I found a random shed full of children's clothes and dolls. Unfortunately, this was all I filmed. The video shows a doll missing a leg and with its head and arms discolored with dirt. It seems like the doll is quite fragile because he breaks it with a small squeeze. The Redditor writes that after finding the doll, he explored further and found an abandoned shed with children's clothes, dolls, and backpacks. In a follow-up video, the Redditor takes viewers to where he found this abandoned shed. For some reason, I kept expecting a jump scare in this follow-up. While I didn't jump, I think this is incredibly scary. What were these dolls there for? Why were they in such disrepair? I have so many questions about this one, and very few answers. There's nothing more terrifying than what you cannot see. Post it to the oddly terrifying subreddit. This scary video shows a drive along a highway at around 5.30 at night in December of 2021. After a moment, a storm bursts into view via multiple lightning strikes. And then on the horizon, you see it, a black funnel twisting ahead. The tornado appears to be straight on in the direction this car is driving. As the lightning continues to flash, the twister is moving off to the left and growing larger as the car approaches it. Many in the comments are wondering why the car continues to drive toward it. Notice the raindrops on the windshield. They're moving horizontally toward the twister. When this happens, as Redditor Ballpen Dodger notes, you're too close. And when you're facing a tornado like this, that is the last place you'd want to be. What would you do if you saw this happen before your very eyes?
shared to TikTok by Tigraz. This crazy video has me doing a double take. The footage shows a girl at a trampoline park jumping up and down like normal. At first, nothing's off, but then... After kneeling, she bends backwards, takes the opposite angles of each leg with her hands, and manages to fold herself around in such a bizarre way that you would think she's possessed. What is this madness? I think this girl is double jointed, also called hypermobile. This involves joints that can move beyond the typical range. About 20% of people are hypermobile, but many are not to this extent. At least there's no need for an exorcism. Sometimes when you're looking for the past on, you find the living. Published by HD Adam in February of 2022, this paranormal crew faces off with a very angry, alive dude. While exploring what they think is an abandoned building, they first see this strange image reflected in a window. It looks like an angry face, but are we just imagining that? <laughs> A minute later, the face remains. One of the crew goes to check an adjacent door. After finding it locked, he turns away. A moment later, something bangs loudly on the door. Continuing on, they open the door to another room and find this mysterious man sitting in the darkness. The man seems angry. He stands up and starts yelling at them. He tells the crew to get out of his house, and they are soon pushed out with force. Next time, they'd better be sure no one's home. What would you do if you saw this floating over your neighborhood? Shared by YouTuber EXTV, this video is trending in the Brazilian-speaking YouTube community. It looks like a scene straight out of Netflix's Stranger Things. In fact, it is. But it's not what it seems. When I dug into its origins, I found the freaky floating figure featured on CBS Chicago's news channel. But how did they get her to float? The TikToker, at Horror Props, who's responsible for the epic Halloween display, just shared how they did it only days ago. It appears to be a wire connected to a telephone pole. Well, I gotta say, that is certainly a crafty way to pull off something like this. Nevertheless, if I saw this while walking down the street, I would still be terrified. The passed on must be transported to their final resting place, and whether you realize it or not, sometimes you're traveling with them. Shared on Twitter by Mr. Creepy Post. This scary video, showing an apparent lifeless body in the cargo hold on a plane, was originally posted on Reddit. The question is, why is this body not contained within a casket? Many in the comments are freaked out by this footage. Some refer to the 2008 Thai horror film Forbia, a film about the transportation of a princess's lifeless body by plane. The 
this short clip, however, was not taken from the movie, and it's not clear if it's genuine or staged. I think it's real. What do you think? While investigating a local legend known as the woman in the abandoned house, KBC Casadores de Fantasmas spoke to the spirit of the woman's father. Using an infrared camera, they see a strange figure. It doesn't appear in the regular camera footage though. While communicating through a spirit box, it sounds like the spirit is saying someone's name. Later, he speaks another name. João falou certinho. Hilda. Então você conhece a dona Hilda? He then provides this cryptic message. It means this here for her. The father then has a last message. This translates to, there is a devil for everything. I'm not sure how to decipher these mysterious messages, but it does seem to me like this father should not be trusted. YouTuber Riot was putting his dogs to bed when he noticed his truck's alarm lights were blinking. The dogs also seemed upset by something. That's when he checked his ring camera, only to find this. A strange blue object is floating across the yard. The YouTuber says he didn't see it with his own eyes. It then disappears behind a tree. Well, I wanted to dismiss this as a spider web at the beginning. It's harder to dismiss when it seems to move away and disappear like this. So what do you think? A spider web or something more cryptic? I think it's too close to call. Videographer S filmed this video before he went missing. Shared by YouTube channel Fourth Wall, the strange video may hint as to why he up and vanished. First, the doll. A second doll fell behind this platform. When S goes to look, pounding is heard. When he checks the door, a shadowy figure appears from the room he just left. Did you see that? The channel says it was an old lady, but it's not certain if S saw her in the moment. Still, he returns to the room. There's no one there, but later during his investigation, he is shut inside another room. <laughs> and somehow he has been carrying around this doll the whole time without realizing it.
Though nothing too transformative happens in this room, I feel that the subtle fear it invokes is somehow even scarier than something much more obvious. Was S being used to deliver the doll to the demon room? If so, is that why he disappeared when he was no longer useful? This story gets more and more twisted, and I'm here for it. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel Fourth Wall. All of their videos have English subtitles. YouTuber Memoria Sobre Natural INC believes they were guided to this location by something paranormal. And maybe that's true, but it doesn't seem to want to let him in. Opa! Cara, que que é isso, mano? Cara, que que é isso? At first, it seems like something might just be pushed up against the door blocking it. But then you see movement. Watch the crack in the doorway. Olha isso, cara. Oh, dá uma olhada. Whatever's inside doesn't seem human. Ah, cara, você é louco? Eu juro que eu achei que eu tinha visto o demônio aqui agora, a hora que eu fui abrir a porta. Ah, cara, meu coração foi a mil aqui, ó. Bom, pessoal, eu acho que... Phew, it's just a ball. Or is it? I think this horned beast is more demon than it appears. I first heard about 30 East Drive in Pantafrac through YouTuber Shadow Man. It's said to be haunted by a somewhat evil entity named Fred or the Black Monk. Many have explored the haunted location in the UK. And here's some of the best captures in this home. The first short one comes from YouTuber Thomas Matthew, who captured a door closing. That's it. That's it. Push the door. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This next video is even creepier. JDH Spooks Paranormal captured a mysterious hand. Oh, you're left on your left. Your left one. This video from Christopher Chell shows a paranormal device rolling off of a chair. Yeah. Hey, so we've got a cat ball on the chair. No one's in the room. You suddenly get your light up. Roll off. We've been sat on that chair for a good while, but nothing should affect it. Purple Bee Paranormal recorded this video where the broken radio suddenly revives itself. With the radio. It's the radio, come here. Don't work. Give me the radio, don't work. He's bloody singing to himself. But this last clip tops them all. Lee Brady shares this footage that was filmed by the property's cleaner, Sarah B. I have just seen some. I have just seen some. Right, that's it. I'm off down. I can't take them all. I am off frigging down. This piece of evidence really hit it home for me. I am entirely convinced that 30 East Drive is 100% haunted. And if this is the ghost known as Fred, I don't want to know. I think it's time to get the heck out of there. While investigating this demon house, YouTube team KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas encounters a real life demon. In the wilderness, they start to get a wild EMF reading. Then they break out a thermal camera and capture this. Grace, Grace, cuidado, Grace. And they later captured the devil in their spirit box session. O diabo. Falou certo, mano. Pedro, que esperto, Pedro. They also take a photo in which something spooky is captured.
These are just the grounds of the demon house. I feel that there's definitely something haunting this property, but we'll have to tune into the final episode of the series to find out. This building is teeming with poltergeists, and YouTuber Han Kardashler is about to face off with them. They throw the first punch as soon as he enters. <laughs> And they don't let up. They continue as he moves around the building. But he doesn't leave until they become more aggressive. What do you think? Would you stick around in here? I think there aren't many worse places to be. 